Today we're going to rebuild a 216B Irritrol inch and a half inline valve. That's because when we turn on this zone, the valve doesn't open all the way until somebody comes over here and starts messing with the solenoid and then it opens all the way. No matter what I do to this valve, clean it out, take it apart, clean all the ports, it doesn't matter. It will not open. So instead of replacing the entire valve because the main line is right there and the lateral line is on this side and that's a T and that's a T and in order to cut out the valve I'd have to dig up a larger portion of this uh, paver patio. I just want to work in this 112 by 12 square so we're going to rebuild this valve and right here we have all the pieces to do it. The only part we're not going to use is the part that's glued into the pipe, the bottom part. This part has no moving pieces with one exception, that plug. Other than that, nothing else moves in here. This is just the bottom half of the valve. We're going to be replacing the bonnet, the spring, the handle, the solenoid, the collar, and the diaphragm of this valve. And we're going to put all of these parts in there and get this valve working again. All right, with the 10th and final screw to go, we'll go ahead and get the top of the old valve off. See what the inside of this looks like. I imagine it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little dirty. We'll get this diaphragm off of here. One little trick is we can use the pin here to help us lift the old diaphragm. Don't do this to the new diaphragm. I don't care what happens to the old one because I'm tossing it anyway, but I could have just blown a hole right through it doing that. So don't do that on the new one. It's important that you replace this little collar because the diaphragm that we'll be putting in there works with that collar. So here's the new collar, drops right in. Here's the new diaphragm. Doesn't go in any particular order. It just goes right in the middle there. Make sure we don't forget the spring. We'll go ahead and place the top on there. We wanna match up the hole in the middle and we wanna line up the solenoid. We just wanna make sure that this is directly over the straight part of the pipe. There's a line on this fitting, which makes us pretty easy to see that. And boom, we're on it. So now all that we have to do is put these 10 screws right back in place and then we can screw the new solenoid back on and go test our valve. You may see me use a drill on this part of the process in the future. You may have seen me use a drill in the past to do this. I'm using a screwdriver today mostly because I didn't bring the, the screw gun with me, but also to tell you guys that if you see me using it, I've got a lot of experience using that and I run the risk of over tightening a screw and blowing it right through the plastic valve. So I would highly advise staying away from screw guns when you're working on plastic valves like this and just use a screwdriver like you see me using right here. A little bit of elbow grease, we'll get it all back together. I'm about to put the last screw in right now. And then we can go ahead and screw our solenoid on. Don't forget our little solenoid handle. Oops, I wanna leave that there. Actually, over here. And then we'll screw our solenoid back on. We'll wire the solenoid shortly. I wanna make sure that the valve, uh, we'll wire it now but I wanna make sure that the valve is working hydraulically before I worry about it working electronically, which part of the electronically part will be hydraulically because the problem we were having before is even when the solenoid was opened by the controller, the valve wouldn't open all the way, but as soon as we touch the solenoid a little bit, it opened all the way. So we're gonna go ahead and get these wires wired into where this old solenoid was wired and go fire up the zone. And now that valve works perfectly. I didn't end up filming anything after that at the job site because I got an emergency call to go to another job site to take care of another issue, which I've already taken care of. Now that we've got the emergency issue taken care of, that valve issue taken care of, we're on our way to the next one.